Okay, today we're going to test the FDMA 212HW, the surge protector for small marine units. Uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about our lab here. We're a, a UL certified test lab. We have uh, lightning surge uh, generators, uh, oscilloscopes to measure those surges. We have uh, other test equipment. We've also got some very large surge generators that will uh, simulate a nearby lightning strike up to 35,000 amps. To start off with, we're going to uh, surge the unit here. Here's the unit. It's a small unit, easily to easily uh, install on the boat. Um, we're going to surge it with a uh, simulated lightning strike at 1,000 volt, would be 500 amps, and that should simulate a, a close by lightning strike coming into the boat. What we'll do is set this on 1,000 volts, take 10 seconds for it to charge up, and we'll measure it on the scope. Okay, I'll explain it to you. This is what's left over, they call it the let through voltage of the surge. Now, if if the surge protector hasn't had been acting on this, this surge would have went all the way to a thousand volts. But instead, it cuts it off, and so this is the part that's actually let through when you're after after the surge protector. So what's let through now is 79 volts. very low compared to, and not a, not an amount of voltage that's going to harm your boat. Let me go ahead and save this. Alright, next thing we'll do is when you're when you have a lot of electronics on a boat or when you're starting and stopping the boat or hooking it up to shore power you got to get a lot of internally generated transients. Uh, these transients generally ring. They're not not like this one where you just get one surge. They ring, and um, you'll you'll probably won't be able to see that on the on the let through voltage when we get done because what we've done on this is we've got a filtering circuit built into it, and uh, when you get those kind of surges, this this uh, unit will filter those out. So I'll change it now to a 2,000 volt ringing waveform. Okay. Now let's say this 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 simulates the internally generated transients, and you get a lot of them, a lot more internally generated transients because your electronics are always working. You you're, you're continuously starting and stopping the boat. You, you you're hooking it up to shore power, things like that. And every time you uh, something like that happens, the power switches on and off, or you hook it up to power, you'll get a, a, a surge generated. So let's fire that up. Okay, there you go. So this surge would have gone to 2,000 volts. After it goes through our filtering circuitry, the let through voltage will be only 32 volts. And these kind of surges you'll get all the time. Uh, sometimes they happen thousands of times a day. According to what kind of unit it is, how big your boat is, if you have a very large boat, you'll have things switching on and off all the time. And this unit will protect you from that kind of surge. I'll have to save that one. All right, I'd just like to say some stuff about the unit. The unit's got uh, a marine wiring. It has a push to test on the uh, for the LED uh, so that the LED doesn't draw power if it's just sitting there. Uh, this unit, like I say, will protect against nearby lightning strikes and uh, any internally generated transients. Okay, now we're going to test the 24 volt version of the FDMA. We're going to test it the first time with a 1,000 volt lightning uh, simulation. In other words, this is, simulates a, a nearby lightning strike. OK, 
Okay, again, this would go all the way to a thousand volts if it weren't for the surge protector. Because of the surge protector, this has been cut off and the let through voltage is 111 volts. So all that other voltage has been diverted by the surge protector and, and absorbed. All right, next what we'll do, we'll go ahead and change this over to a ringing top waveform in that simulates internally generated transients or transients that are, are from, uh, say, hooking up to shore power or, or, or any of your electronics in the boat. I'll go ahead and make that 2,000 volts. Now the filtering in this unit uh, will knock this surge way down. And these are internally generated surges that happen all day long. Okay, so here's the, here's your surge. Uh, that surge would have gone to six, or excuse me, two thousand volts, but what's left over is thirty-four volts. This is knocked down way below the level that's going to harm anything, any of your equipment. Again, these are caused by uh, electronics turning on and off, your motor starting and stopping, or you know, start stopping your motor, uh, hooking up to shore power. Uh, these, these kind of small oscillating surges can happen all day long, thousands of times a day, according to how much electronics you have on your boat.